To aid in loading my bike into the trailer for my big move, I needed a set of ramps. For this, I went to Harbor Freight and bought their 72 by 9 inch steel loading ramps. I only needed one ramp, but I felt that 9 inches was too narrow for my comfort. After a little research, I realized that they had slots on the side where I can bolt the two ramps together, making it a total of 18 inches wide. This also greatly added to the strength of the ramp because the weight was now distributed over the two ramps instead of just one. Also, the point of contact for my wheels was where the ramp was the strongest. There was a C shape on the end of the ramp and that was where my wheel would make contact on both ramps. This kit came with everything that I needed except for the bolts to attach them together. After reading the directions, the way that they want you to attach the angular brackets did not make sense to me. The instructions wanted the brackets on the top, which I felt was not very strong, so I decided to run a test. I mounted one bracket on the top and the other on the bottom, then tested each. This is the different results. As you can tell, with the bracket on top, the second that I pushed my bike onto the ramp, it bent. With the bracket underneath, virtually nothing happened. So I decided to put the brackets underneath to get the most support out of my ramp. Next I needed a way to secure the ramps to my platform. For this I used 5 16 inch eye bolts, washers, and a locking nut. This will give me somewhere strong to hook my straps onto. I placed one on each side of the ramp to help eliminate side movement as well as forward and backwards movement. Now it's time to connect the ramps together. I used a total of 6 bolts, 12 washers, and 6 locking nuts. I also alternated the way each bolt was inserted to help strengthen up the joint. This is a flat test of how the ramps will work together. As you can see, there is almost no movement in the angle brackets and the ramp is nice and strong. Next I move the camera to the front to give you a good solid view of any flexing in the joints of the ramp. After that test was successful, I wanted to see how it worked on an incline. I also was testing out the eye bolts. I attached my straps to secure the ramp to the platform. At this point, the platform is 21 inches off of the ground, making the forces from the bike much greater. On the way down, I was also jerking the front brake to check the strength of the ramps from sliding off the platform. This is how I can load my bike onto the platform to use my quick jack lift ramps to work on my bike. In this configuration, when I lift up the quick jack, the ramps will stay attached to the platform. And when I drop the platform back down, the ramps are in the perfect position to offload the bike. If you haven't seen how I built this platform, check out my videos to see the full build video. Thanks for watching and subscribe below to see more upcoming projects from me dealing with this Yamaha R6, my Ford Focus, and other how-to projects along the way.